I play of League, my main champion has mainly been Heimerdinger, and I'll take him pretty much anywhere except the top. Heimerdinger is not in the strongest spot right now. He's he's yeah. usable. I'm not yeah. saying he's not usable. My problem with Heimerdinger is I I trying to get the turret placement right. Like how do I explain? Make it sound realistic. I don't know how to like. I don't know how to like work around the fact that his setup. His setup. It's so hard to set up stuff with Heimer for me that I just don't bother playing him because I struggle too much to set up his stuff. Um, the main thing is, is I always ban in the beginning, like more often than not, to feel and use my fucking first. The Blitzcrank isn't my only problem, like, I sometimes play him in ARAM and it goes badly, like, I just, I'm not very good at playing him. Like, I love things, but I'm not good at it. Like, I play other non-meta things, like Annie and Viger, but I don't. I love taking Heim bot as actually one of my favorite things to do, and I'm not like, that much. Like, I know you guys may not know about Viger and Annie, but I often take advantage of people's ignorance with that champ, and that's how I often end up winning. It doesn't oh, always yeah. work. Like, the last time I played Annie, unfortunately, I got completely blown to shreds by our extremely evil Shaco and a Platinum Rise. But... Uh... Come on, man. Um... Oh, well, I think the last break games I played, it really didn't go well. But I... Well, the, okay, I'll the explain why off. there was a Platinum Rise. We had a Platinum, another person in my lobby that was Platinum. I've never been platinum in my existence, so if there's someone platinum in the game, it's not my MMR. My MMR on this account is firmly bronze something. It's either bronze or low silver at most. It's not... It's not platinum. If you see a platinum, it's because someone else... If, it, if it's an MMR issue, it's because someone in my lobby got the platinum. looking to mess with him with the Because that's, that, that's the main thing to first do with Alawi is to get them very uncomfortable with the ease and then eventually work it their, their way into their mind. And then, and then if they get close out of frustration, that's when they're going to kind of like this. Dang it. He got out of range, only the cog got it. I see a little but I just don't see it. That wasn't the target. The target was the out. Both died. Both the target and the I want to save my ult for when they like, collapse on me. Get me to do it. Oh god, I think I'm ult. I can help now. Yeah. Uh, 
Alright, good. I'm here. We're messing up this Alistair. One thing I like about this Alistair is he constantly engages, so he's very predictable. Oh uh, yeah, I know we're able to like start getting away from him now. Well not just get away, I just... I can get the E on him and fight him directly. Because uh, well, he generally likes to fight and kill him. The stun. But see, yeah, there are some champions I know how to play. This is one of them, kinda. Like a lot more than I know of Felios. And then there was the chain stuns. Like it wasn't just like one stun. It was like. Nautilus, Maokai, Darius, and something else. Like, I just could not move. That, that, that pissed me off. Yeah, but I, I really mean, you're not gonna get to play the game. Like, there, there is some team comps that are so obnoxious, it's literally like, yep, yeah, you're, you're not moving. You're, you're not moving for about six to ten seconds minimum. You're not moving. Not moving anywhere. You're not doing anything. You're not moving. You're not moving. Nah, I'm the like a lot of this happens in ARAM. I don't know why there's a lot of team comps in ARAM that's literally like, yep, you're not moving. Come up, you're not moving. Salister. Appreciate your enthusiasm for feeding. Make a make a fed of alley foundation. Yeah, no. Yeah, Shut down. Oh, Almost. I almost did that. And Boo-Boo's fucking them up. I, I, again, I don't yet have the four items yet even. Just wait until I get Cleaver plus... Gore drinker and then a bunch of tank. You'll watch. You'll watch this explode. You'll start to watch them explode. I think I might actually get some kills now. Who are you? Friend. Ah. Ah. Yeah, because the other guys don't pump. Yeah. So I was like, huh, must be someone new in the world. <laughs> Not that I might. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so it's Burger and Burger. The Burger Burger. The Burger Burger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a burger earlier today. Um, where I have? Oh, yeah, I had eggs. Yeah, I had eggs this morning. I, we're actually on some time. My mom has gotten into this idea of this diet. We eat mostly just meat, eggs, and stuff. It's not bad. It works. Oh. Granted, yeah, it's kind of hard to do because staying away from bread is nearly impossible. Yeah. Because there's so much carbs. Yeah. I you have been don't slain. know. Okay. So I'm gonna get Cleaver. And then I'm gonna go stare at the anti stun. Something to deal with the massive amounts of stun. Yep, four seconds of stun. And the damage in this game is pretty high. Win one for 
was a good one. At least we have the feeding, the feeding, um, Alistair to help. Oh. Trying to stay out of that. I tried. He got too far away. Who wants a tree? Who's the one? Not until we've trampled our foes to dust. Right. I'm so glad that this one's going better than the other one. The other one I was trying my best, I just didn't know what to do. The team comp was too good for killing an AD carry. Like playing an AD carry into an AD carry killing comp is not likely. Yeah. Yeah. One thing about this Alistair, he's a great vessel. You wanna look for where we're gonna dodge to. Not where we're gonna dodge I got him. I meant the Lux. The Lux is not great. <laughs> oh, that's the rando. For some reason, actually, you are one of them and stuff. Oh, that's for some reason. Look at that. All three things. How sad you can tell. You can do anything. This. Is this? Got my ult ready again. I'm doing all right. I'm just saying. Cause I was like, Brand is gonna aim where they're gonna be. I don't know. Never mind. It's a pointless conversation. Uh, I'm psychic. I can do that. Oh no! I'm supposed to do that. Uh, stuns. Like maybe. Did I go Visage or Sterax? Um, I'm not sure. Oh wait, this maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, because Lulu's, go oh, Lulu's going a weird build. She's getting burned and shit. I don't ever see Lulu build like that. Lulu's are weird creatures. <laughs> They're pretty good. Reminds me a lot of the dwarf oh. faction from Raid. Granted, Lulu is less cute Shut than some down. of the dwarves, but... <laughs> you know, some of the dwarves are very serious in the Like, the oh, most what? prize champ in all of Raid is a dwarf. I got polymorphed! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Couldn't even eat him, because I got polymorphed. I keep oh, getting polymorph. God damn it! I guess it's going probably cooldown reduction. Yeah. Ooh. I literally I barely can ult because I get polymorphed like in between every slam. I'm gonna push forward. I'm gonna ult them. Like, it's very hard to operate this champion stuff.
fucking right. Well, at least Alistair is making this easier. He's trying so hard to. Well, I did an aggressive flash earlier. Why was it I cool then? I almost made that out. I don't yet have a lot of armor either yet. Or sticks. Oh, they were running. Like well, I I have some other BS. Trust me. I have I have more up my sleeve than that. It's just it takes a little bit for the other stuff to really kick in. It just takes a little bit. Because she becomes more disgusting once you start. Once you once you start getting into the more disgusting parts of Alawi's build, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's uh oh <laughs> look they're finally calling Ali out. Hey, I'm satisfied. I did the most.